Hello everybody. Um, today I want to share my travel sketchbook with you. This is something that is separate from my main sketchbook, but I wanted to keep as sort of a special memento from some of the traveling I've done this year. I went to California in May um, to Los Angeles, and then in August I went to Chicago. Both of these trips I took this with me and tried to draw as much as I could. A lot of the things I would have liked to have done on location or while I was there, but had to finish later at home. I made the book myself, made of Bristol paper, it's my favorite drawing paper, and handles a lot of different mediums really well. Um, I don't have really a tutorial for it, just look up like book binding or making your own sketchbook. Um, it's pretty simple, but I wanted something that was this size that I could fit in my backpack and made out of a certain paper and that just wasn't something that I could find to purchase. Some of the supplies that I use are pretty much my normal supplies, like Tombow markers. I use these for most of the markers in the book. Um, I also used um, these Ecoline um, brush pen markers. Oops, sorry, it's not even in the frame. I have a really weird setup, so sorry, just bear with me the best you can. Um, and then some of these markers that I got at Daiso and my regular uh, ink brush pen, um, some colored pencils, some other pens, things like that, but nothing too out of the ordinary. One of my flight tickets I taped into the front. I wanted this to have kind of like a mixed media feel too where I could um, make it kind of like a scrapbook. So taking things from my trip and just putting them right into here so I can keep that forever but it's not taking up a ton of space. Um, this is a drawing I did on my first day in LA. Um, I did this one in one of the uh, lifts we were taking to go somewhere because there was just a lot of traffic and a lot of time sitting around in cars, so um, that was something I did on the way. It's just in colored pencil, but I was really interested in the different types of trees and foliage that there was there. Um, it's very different from the Midwest, so it was something that I found really fascinating. Um, my friend that lives in California was like, it's not that interesting, like haven't you ever seen a tree before? And I'm like, apparently not. So um, that was something that I thought was interesting. Um, this was, again, um, one of the first days we were there. Um, we went to In-N-Out because we wanted the full California experience, so this one I actually did there. Um, it was the In-N-Out right by the airport, so it was really, really loud because there were planes going by every, like, two seconds. Then we went down to this beach, and it was, I don't know what beach it was, I don't remember. It was close by to our hotel, so um, we were able to go there after we um, went out to dinner. And it was like the most beautiful thing. It was my first time seeing the Pacific Ocean, so it was really special for me. And it was right at sunset, and it was the most beautiful sunset I think I've ever seen in my life. It was like, like cotton candy skies, like blue and pink and purple, and there was just like a gorgeous reflection on the water and we saw some seals and a whole bunch of other like birds and animals and it was really really cool and just made me very sad that I don't live by the ocean um, but I would love to someday it was really 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 beautiful on the 12th um, this I did on location and all of these sketches are from the Huntington Gardens and we went there didn't have nearly enough time there to see everything but I did really enjoy it um, it was really cool this is mostly in uh, colored pencil and then some markers just a variety of stuff and what I loved about doing these pages is the little sketches I did while I was there at the gardens but we were moving along pretty quickly because we only had a couple of hours um, to spend there so we were kind of cruising along um, I finished these up when went to Malibu Beach, one, one of them, the Malibu Beach, I don't really know. We went to the ocean again and I sat down and was able to, for like an hour or two, finish off this page and add some color and um, add more information and things like that, but that was my tag from going in there. So that was super neat. Um, then. So yeah, later that day was 
um, the NCT 127 concert. That was the main reason we went to LA. I wanted to go to another one of their shows. Uh, we had just gone to theirs in Chicago um, the week before, so we also decided we wanted to travel to Los Angeles and see them again, and it was so worth it. It was so much fun. Um, this is... Hi. Hi, Jim. Jim is making an appearance in our video. Um, this was a really cool show for me. It was my second time seeing them and they're like my favorite k-pop group so it was really special um i made a sign for mark just one of my favorite boys i made a johnny sign for the chicago show but i made a mark sign and that i like sewed while i was on the plane to la um i have to do a little bit of flipping around now so the day after that we went to Malibu Creek State, State Park, State Park, Malibu Creek State Park, and it was really beautiful. These ones I drew at home. It probably would have been okay for me to draw there, but there wasn't really a good place to like stop. We were pretty much hiking the whole time, so um, took a lot of pictures and wrote down what was what stood out the most to me that I wanted to draw later on. Um, something that was really cool were some of the trees were charred from some of the recent wildfires there, which I found just really interesting. Like, so many of the trees were just, like, true black, and I don't know, it was really cool. It was in such a contrast to so much grass and every other plant that was growing there and the new plants that were so bright green. It was really, really cool. It was kind of an overcast day. It was, like, perfect for hiking and I really enjoyed it there. Um, I would go back there again. I thought it was, I thought it was cool. Pretty much throughout the trip we did a lot of shopping, so I bought like a lot of snacks and just like fun stuff. I bought a lot of peach flavored things while I was there, and I love peach flavor. It's the best. So they had like peach coke when we were in um, like little Tokyo. That, um, that's where we went uh, the day of the show and um, shopped around and did some stuff there and had some like little rice cake mochi and bought some cute stuff. I found this little um, pink raccoon keychain, which I absolutely love. And saw some cool plants. Um, we went to Daiso. I found so much cool stuff there and so much of their um, like art supply stuff just made me go crazy because I got like a big pack of paint brushes and a pack of markers and like literally everything there's a dollar fifty. So. Um, I love crappy cheap art supplies because I love to ruin everything. Um, so a couple of months go by and I didn't have the sketchbook finished so I decided to take it with me to Chicago. We did um, a couple days down there um, and met up with the same friends that we saw in Los Angeles and hung out, did some stuff. Um, we went to the Shedd Aquarium which is like one of my favorite places to go in Chicago. Um, if you don't know, I love sharks, <laughs> and um, yeah, I could probably watch them all day long. So um, the aquarium ended up being really, really busy that day, so I kind of went off on my own, put in headphones, and went down and drew these sharks. So this I did like on location, all like live, so with like this shark, like I had to wait and like watch her come back around in that same kind of pose so I could get the shape and drawing from life takes a lot of patience and a lot of waiting and a lot of really careful observation and I love doing it. It's one of my favorite ways to draw. Um, I was able to kind of get a better look when it was resting for a long time so kind of got some more details and yeah but I absolutely love them. Then I went upstairs um, in the aquarium and drew some leopard sharks, which are another one of my like all-time favorite animals. I love leopard sharks. I have a tattoo of one. I think they're just the cutest thing. They're so much like, smaller than you would expect them to be, um, so I watched them for quite a while. The exhibit that they have at Shedd Aquarium for the leopard sharks is really beautiful. It has this like, like these orange kelp leaves and the water in there is like almost kind of greener and they have like a lot of light shining through in there and it's really beautiful and I 
just absolutely love it. So wanted to draw that and kind of did this as quickly as I could because the people that were around me were really annoying. So I just kind of wanted to get out of there, but still enjoy drawing. That's one of the another one of the challenges of drawing um, in public and in real life is having people stop you or walk in front of you or uh, like sit next to you on the bench and like breathe on you and it's a challenge but it's part of the rewarding parts of it I guess I don't know so uh, that was something we did um, this is kind of like a scrapbook page I guess so. Um, my ticket from the Shedd Aquarium. We also went to the Science Museum. I've been there a couple times, so I kind of felt like I already see have seen everything there. Um, we did some exploring in Chinatown, which is a part of Chicago I really love and find really fun and interesting. We went to this, like, super chaotic boba place, and I just can't even explain how chaotic it was. Like, the lights were flickering, and their music was really loud, and their bathroom was trashed, and everybody was just in there like it was the most peaceful shop in the world. It was so funny, <laughs> but it, the bubble was really good, and I had a good time. Um, sort of more of my like journaling to remember what we did, um, but I won't get too into it. Um, so we went to Chicago to see Monsta X, which is... Um, pretty much one of my new favorite groups now. Yeah, it was so incredible. I had such a great time. It was, wow, they were so good. I literally cannot even put into words what their performance was like and how it made me feel. <laughs> so this is just gonna have to be close enough. I have my tickets, a couple of things that like fans handed out at the show. This is like one of the cards from the pack I bought in Chinatown. In that, that morning before the show, we did a little bit of shopping. Um, went to like a little supermarket and had lunch there and stuff, but I was really, really tired from all the walking and all the activities from the previous days, so we kind of just wanted to take it easy and save up our energy for the show, and I had a great time there. Um, yeah, that pretty much completes my journal. I just did something kind of quick on the last page here, um, just kind of a map, I guess, of sorts, of where we went and I guess some more of my thoughts. Um, I taped in this map um, from the Huntington Gardens in the back as well. But yeah, I had a really great time and I think keeping a travel sketchbook or a travel journal is something everyone should do, even if you don't really have any artistic inclinations or like you know how to draw. Like you don't have to know how to draw. You can just tape stuff in and write about what you're seeing and have fun with it but I just wanted to share it and hopefully inspire you for your next trip thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys bye